so we are going to be installing the prl intercooler today and the prl intercooler piping and for starters you gotta come up here let's say and there is one two three four five six seven eight clips like this that's for starters once you make sure you've got all those out just pull a little bit just to make sure because normally you would just feel a little tension if there's something else missing so as of right now i'm guessing it's those eight and now for the next part I just realized once i thought i was able to take out the bumper right here under this weather strip right i think there's one and another one on the other side two clips as well you have to take those off in order to pop this part of the bumper off and also these that were right on top of the headlight one and two and once i removed that literally everything just came off so while taking it out just be careful and treat it nicely you don't want to mess up your new bumper got to spray the inner cooler with the, the stencil i use matte black to do this you can buy a matte black can wherever you want or glossy wherever you want whatever you want honestly i chose the matte because you know all the trimmings on the si is matte black so it could go perfect sorry about that guys i didn't get to show you guys completely everything on the unboxing but they do send you this cardboard piece which is a stencil for you to you know spray down your new intercooler if you want to put the prl logo on it it's pretty easy literally they come cut out to size so i'm guessing each corner of the cardboard goes by where the welds finish and then you just center it out until you see that this piece here the bottom piece of it sticks like you know all the way to the bottom sorry so just literally i don't want to put it on top well not to do it so basically something like this just as an example see it's like right on the bottom of the inner cooler but what i did is i used some masking tape taped it all around where any residue will go or anything like that or the the dust of the spray you want to say it's crazy when you have when you know the words but when you're actually recording yourself and you're trying to like talk for some reason you just forget what's it called but i know you guys probably know exactly what i mean but yeah you mask it up to be better safe than sorry Also wanted to show you guys part of the inner cooler i don't know if you've seen it but they also are recommending if you will not recommending well yeah they recommend if you want to buy let's say for example the inner cooler piping they have a higher flow uh inner cooler piece i'm gonna call it that because i don't i completely forgot what they call it but this is the stock one let's say this is the one that comes originally once you buy the inner cooler right as you can see, the hole is pretty small, has a gasket and everything. It's pretty, it's good. I'm not saying it's bad if you're just trying to do the inner cooler upgrade, but this is what it comes with. I am going with the inner cooler piping as well from PRL. So I purchased the upgraded one. As you can see, the difference is a big difference. Obviously also in just the holes it's itself definitely gonna get, i'm gonna get more air out of this one compared to the stock one so yeah this is the one i'm going with this is what i'm putting on the side of the inner cooler so the upgraded inner cooler piece goes same spot comes with two bolts comes with the gasket make sure you put the gasket when you're installing either pieces that you're putting it comes with a gasket just make sure you put that because if not you're gonna have a leak as for the bottom, you have to take out 
all of these. One, two, fill up, ten. I don't think this. Or am I bugging? Does have to come out? I don't think this one has to come out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six in total. I don't think those have to come off. But I do know these definitely have to come off of the front. But I'll let you know right now once I finish up. So yeah, I took out the clips that are at the end over here. Over here as well, there's a Phillips screw, a 10 millimeter bolt. Then the clip there, 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 there. Same thing on this side. Actually, I never realized the 10 millimeter bolt that goes on the other side as well, this side was missing. Hmm. I was even saying to myself, maybe Honda forgot to put it or it fell, but I've never taken off the bumper on this car. So I don't know, it just wasn't there, but the Phillips was. And then the two clips over here as well. And as you can see, the bumper is all the way good. So that's all we had to take out from the bottom, I believe. And now, take out these fill up. On the side on the driver, another one on the passenger, and there's also another one right here in the corner of the bumper. So the corner of the bumper right here, go right behind it. It's a fill up screw right on top right here. Now, as you can see, bumper is off. And here is the stock and a cooler. Let's get this baby out. It is, if I'm correct, let's see. I'll tell you guys now, 12. 12 millimeter. One, two, three, four. I removed two 10 millimeter bolt, which is one here, right there where you see the empty hole. That is like a little bracket that's on top of the inner cooler. And another one right here. In order for me to take these things out. And I'm able to pull out the inner cooler. Let's see if I can do that with the camera. And there we go. That baby's out. Once I remove the inner cooler, right? As you can see here, this is all loose, right? So this piece goes right here to the inlet of the turbo right and since i'm changing the inner cooler piping i have to take this out myself so as you can see this if you're doing the same thing this right here is this piece right there so what you gotta do is just loosen up this fill up i'll see what size millimeter is it i think it's an eight or a nine but I'll let you know now once I take it off, but yeah, you have to loosen that up and then you can take off the holes from there. Sorry guys, it was a 10. So I used the ratchet with a small 10, loosened it up. Now, let's see. Hold on, give me one second, let me get a flat. And voila, she's up. So literally, the clamp, loosen it up as much as you can to the point that it's like, you know, loose all around. And then you just pull down the tube and you should be good. Now, let's see. First one is out. By the way, look at my new inner cooler piping. One is a metal or aluminum, or I think so, right? I think it's an aluminum piece of metal, so. You get one and then the rest are just prls nice quality silicone tubes i think that's how they call them again sorry i'm not giving you the exact name but you can see what we're working with here and yeah let's get this stuff in there so on the top part there is a 10 millimeter here there's two eight millimeter that are holding two sensors that you have to use as well on the new inner cooler piping. This holds right here as well. You release, loosen the 10 millimeter clamp. Another one, where is it? Sorry, back there. Literally right next to that 10 millimeter at first that I showed you, right next to it. 
and then I'm pretty sure you're able to take this bad boy out. Oh, matter of fact, no. You have to take out this. Okay, you have to take out one and then two right there, back there. One and two, because that's holding this uh, whole piece right there. So you gotta take out those two 10 millimeter bolts as well in order for you to take out this tube. So again, two 10 millimeter bolts here, loosen the clamps, both clamps, take out these two eight millimeter and this 10 millimeter. So two eights, one 10, two 10s right here, one 10 right here, and then the clamp. Down here on the other side, we gotta remove this well you gotta loosen up this clamp remove remove it from the piping and then try to bring it down since we're not using this anymore this is the part where if you don't do the intercooler piping and let's say you just do the intercooler prl has a plug for this like a little thing where it covers it up because this is like an exhaust or a resonator they call or something like that for the intercooler so when you do that you are basically over here, let's say, right? Then you release this, you take out this, and you plug that. That's all you gotta do for that little upgrade. If you're keeping the stock pop, um, if you're keeping the stock uh, intercooler piping. So if you wanna do that, at least this is what you gotta do. But I doubt you have to take out the whole bumper. I seen somebody just like loosen this plastic cover on the bottom and was able to stick their hand in and just do it all with the car jacked up so now i'm just trying to see how i could play with this and take it out because it's a little uncomfortable to take off the the holes on the bottom of the pla the hard plastic piece that we're removing so um I'm trying to figure out something to make it easier for you guys as well so let me see what I figure out. So the only way to make it easy, you gotta twist it. Twist the, the silicone tube and also grab this if you can. Just grab it and like, you know, twist it and it will start moving and it will separate from each other. So that was the only easy way that I could honestly say without removing too much, you get me? Just step by step, twist it play around with it a little bit pause and yeah it'll just separate but I got it out the bottom piece now let's see with the top nice and easy yuck OEM but yuck guys by the way this is a huge difference. Like literally, height and width, huge difference. Sorry for the finger marks, I'll be cleaning that in a few, but check this out. Now with the old and with the new. Even though they're practically both, well, one is practically new, but we're switching that anyway. So after a couple of minutes of working with this come to realize stock pipe stays on passenger side same thing right and you will know that the small silicone tube is going to go on that side as well since it's staying the same now for the other side once you put in the intercooler piping it's a little more you know thicker so the thicker tube is the one that goes on the new powder coated tube that you get from PRL. Look at that. They also give you a new bracket for the powder coated tube that they give you. As you can see, all the sensors are back. Uh, but yeah, this to be completely honest, this is the same way you took it out. You compare them the two just that obviously one is a little bigger than the other and you put it right back oof can't wait to hear this 
and as you can see nothing gets connected here that's eliminated i left it there for now since it's just there it's taking up space maybe it could block some debris and stuff but just left it there but yeah this is practically it it's literally straightforward removing the um, wow look at this i even forgot the name of it already uh the clamps from here well removing the clamp from here loosens it from up here then you take out the two 12 mil 12 millimeter bolts and then this you as you saw in the other video no in the other clip sorry so yeah i mean hey guys it's honestly plug and play you take off your old one you put in the new one the same way you took off the old one remove the clamp here loosens up everything basically on top for this one on the passenger side once you take like i said you loosen this take it off right let it drop come on this side two 12 millimeter bolts removes your stock uh intercooler and this piping literally and on this side out. same thing like i explained to you in the beginning same thing over here the same way i took it off again it's the same way i put it back on uh now i have to put these things on so you saw with the stock ones it has this prl provides you with brand new brackets so i could put it on top of that and that's the two 10 millimeter 10 millimeter bolts that hold these two clamps over here so yeah once i do that then everything back together bumper and all by the way i also forgot to mention see when you're putting on the intercooler you can't just put it in there straight on right so instead i seen somebody say you could take this whole piece off bring it down right so i didn't do that just in case to make a little no well, to make things a little easier if you want there's one and two 10 millimeter bolts loosen them you could loosen them you don't have to take them off completely but you could just loosen them all the way a little bit and literally this you could just push this down and fit the inner cooler without having to take off everything you get me just to save you a little headache if you want but you could also take it off if you want to but look clamps and rubber from the, the factory one i put the rubber piece from the factory one I put it onto the prl brackets and yeah they're holding up pretty good now to put the bumper back on check it out guys all wrapped up bumpers back on everything is nice and tight now to try this bad boy out and see how it feels and to see how it sounds too